happening tonight. People got to hear about potential plans for Broad Ripple High School that closed last year. IPS hasn't decided yet what they want to do with that property. That has people asking questions tonight. Our Emily Longnecker tells us what's holding up this process and the various options for the site. Everybody's curious what's going to happen with the, with the school. That's why Nathan Byer Parsons was one of a few hundred people who packed this meeting Tuesday. All of them anxious to know what IPS plans to do with Broad Ripple High School. Simply put, this is a big, expensive building. IPS presented some of the different options they're looking at when it comes to the future of the campus. It's 16 empty acres in the middle of one of the best neighborhoods in Indianapolis. We want to move forward. Two years ago, the Broad Ripple Village Association asked residents what they'd like to see happen on the site. Over almost 600 respondents, you know, clearly said that we want scholastic and community uses to take the forefront here. Before it makes any decision, the district is waiting to see if the legislature amends a law that says if a school building is not being used, a charter school can lease or buy the building for one dollar. If that law changes, the district would have more options for selling the property, like turning it into office space, retail, apartments, condos, or townhomes. Whatever goes in, the Village Association says needs to move the area forward. We're really looking for something transformational that can really make a difference. Now, there's no firm timeline on when the board will make a decision, but the district would like to take bids on the property by September and make a decision mm. uh, by October. Yeah, so many options. I know we'll be following it. We Thanks. Will. Thanks, Emily.